Thank you for joining me for this edition of Genuine Diamonds in Arkansas. This is Wednesday, July 21st, 2021, and we are working, washing Worthington Diamond Mine ore to extract the diamonds out of it. We're working right next to, just outside of, Crater Diamond State Park. We have our own diamond deposit, and that's the ore that we're processing. This is the lower trommel and jig, and I'll show you a little bit more how that works. Uh, this is the heart of the plant. The diamonds will be caught in these four one-foot square uh, trays. They're green trays. And uh, this jig up and down, it's a rubber tire jig, and it, it pulsates the water in those vats. So this is bouncing up and down, and your heavies are dropping down to the bottom. So we need to go and feed ore into the plant. But I uh, started the video before starting the upper trommel. The lower trommel is not nearly as noisy as this upper one. It's sort of like running tennis shoes in a dryer, or worse, a belt buckle in a dryer, or really ball bearings in a dryer. But the, the water is going in the other end. We'll drop the ore in the chute, and this trommel will be scrubbing. I tried a special lapel microphone so that you could hear me while this equipment is running but it, it wasn't uh, com didn't want to work with my camera so I'm just not gonna talk while the big scrubber is on and then I'll uh, shut it off and and take you around show you some more of the plant but uh, I wanted you to see this is a big piece of equipment, so I'll stand here for comparison. I'm six foot one, and uh, this is really a big trommel scrubber. What I'm going to do in a minute, uh, this morning, well, we have a, a big pile of diamond ore from the Worthington Diamond Mine, just a thousand feet from where I'm standing right now. An excavator dug it up, put it in the dump truck, pulled it here, and dumped it, and covered it with tarps. And now I'm going back to this morning, I shoveled from those piles and filled 25 buckets with ore. Uh, it's the same ore that we shovel, same pile. We shovel and fill boxes. We ship out boxes of uh, Worthington Diamond Mine ore all across the nation. You can order a box if you want by going to our website, www.diamondsinar.com. So right now, I want to start this up run the plant, I'll shut it back off, and we'll go look and, and see how the ore works through the plant. Uh, right now there are six pumps pumping, one of them goes to the top here, and I throw the ore in, the water mixes in here and breaks it down. Another pump uh, runs that lower jig you saw a minute ago, and then we have a pump for some real fine material, and then we have a return water pump. So, uh, oh, and two pumps for that kind of a gold sluice thing for the oversize. So anyway, two pumps are pumping. Everything's rolling except this. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is this ore used to be one solid lump of igneous rock. Uh, it was so hard I couldn't dig it with a shovel, couldn't break it up with a rock bar. So the excavator came in and dug it up. And as it dug, it broke it into big clumps, big clumps, and stuff that looks like dirt. Uh, it's not dirt, it's igneous rock, it's broken up. But uh, the diamonds will either be in uh, these big chunks or they'll be loose in with the stuff that looks like dirt. Uh, so we put it all in here and the big chunks are broken up by scrubbing around in this trommel and uh, Everything breaks down to a small size, and like size material is jigged together. So, uh, I think we'll start the plant, and you can just watch and see what happens here, and then I'll shut this off in a minute. It's noisy. I did say noisy.
pine needles are coming in. monitor things from here. Make sure everything's going all right down in the lower trauma. Put a mirror on that tree. So I hooked the trailer up to my truck and loaded the buckets this morning and then backed the trailer up here, up this ramp we made. And then I just set a piece of plywood on there to work as a platform so I can throw things into the hopper. goes down this chute, that's where it goes in, that's the water pipe coming in, and it goes in here, and the smaller material is washed down this chute. Nothing's coming right now because the scrubber's not rolling. So, where you have something round and rotating and something square and uh, immovable, Sometimes you can have a leak, so I couldn't fix the leak, so I put this ah, gutter under here, and I just reroute everything, because I don't want to lose any diamonds. So, everything goes down the chute, or this gutter pipe, and into this lower trommel. Now we'll go down and take a look at it. through this screen, the larger material falls through this screen, and then the oversized material comes down this chute, and it's kind of a gold flute, and the water pushes it on down, and if there was a big diamond in it, it would collect in the ripple, and if not, it collects in these buckets, and I take these chunks up and feed back in the plant again later. In case there was a diamond inside there, I want it to break apart and release the diamond inside these bigger chunks. So I'm not done with them yet. Let's 
Take a look. See, this motor spins in the centric and it makes those rubber tires go in and out, creating a pull in four that. You can see two from this side and you'll see two from the other. If the upper trommel was running, there would be ore coming down all this right now. But I shut it off because of the noise. So, <laughs> the finer material drops on this side and is jigged in one square, one foot square, and another square. And then the coarser material is here and is jigged. See, this is pulsating up and down because of the action of the rubber tire. And then all the light material washes off, the water falls off, and goes down this chute, going down this pipe, and goes to the settling pond. And then this water is recycled and sent back to the pond that supplies water. That's kind of our system. So I'm going to shut the camera off, turn the trommel back on, and get the feeding. Because yesterday I filled 50 buckets and ran it through the plant. So far I've filled 25 buckets, but it's only morning. And I hope to run 50 again today. And then I will shut the plant down and recover the diamonds that are in those four one foot squares. The oversized rocks, you know, those big chunks I threw in, if they don't break down in the scrubber, they can send parts out here. And these are pieces that I will just shovel in and run back around again. But not much material comes out of here. Most of those big chunks break up in that scrubber. So, thank you for joining me for this edition of Genuine Diamonds in Arkansas.